Hey guys, thanks for buying the Oregon Construction 695. Now, in the last couple years of selling these, I've learned a couple superstar secrets I want to share with you. I've got three of them. My first superstar secret is water is your friend. That's why we have a water hookup on the back of the saw. Got to use water to make this chain last as long as we want it to and cut as efficiently as it's designed. Water comes down the bar when we hook water up to the back of the saw. It sprays out in a couple ejection points cleans and lubricates everything, flushes all the debris out, and it lubricates that nose bearing. So we gotta hook water up to the back of the saw. My second superstar secret is chain tightness is real. We gotta make sure it's done right. So I'm gonna show you how to set this saw up since you just purchased it so it's done right the first time. I'm gonna take my side cover off and I'm gonna make sure that tensioner is run all the way to the back of the saw. If it's not, use that adjustment screw and push that screw to the very back. Now, I like to lay the saw on the side. I think it makes it a little bit easier, but you're gonna find the way that you wanna do this. Take your bar and tuck it underneath or on top of your sprocket. That's why I lay it flat. Take your chain, wrap it around the back of the sprocket, and then around the tip of the bar. Now, I set my, my bar down, my, my saw down, and I make sure that my chain fits into my bar on the top and the bottom and everything's aligned. I take my side cover and I put it on and make sure everything aligns and goes together nice and tight. Your side cover should fit flush front and back all the way around. Now, chain tightness. We run these chains a little bit looser than your conventional wood cutting chain. The reason why, it's a big beefy bar, we got a lot of tooth on, on, our, on our chain, and we got a lot of slurry and debris. So when we tighten this chain, first thing, just like a wood saw, we always lift our tip. Other thing, small adjustments to this screw on the front make a big difference. So it doesn't take a whole lot to tighten these chains. Once we're in spec, we should be able to hear contact with all of our teeth on our drive links. And our chain should spin freely. It doesn't take He-Man strength to tighten this cover down. Just hand snug and our chain should spin freely. That's proper chain tightness. That's my second superstar secret. If it's too tight, it robs us all of power. Now my third superstar secret is this saw runs on 50 to one. That's a fuel oil mix. Let's not run Jet A, let's not run Avgas, let's not run diesel, let's not run straight gas. 50 to one keeps the saw lasting a long time. Now, there are two different types of bars. So look at your saw. There's a gray GC bar and there's a black Force 4 bar. Those bars are different. Those bars correspond with our chains and also correspond with our sprockets. So if you have a question, Give customer service a call, give me a call, we'll walk you through it and make sure that you've got the right sprocket, the right bar, and the right chain for your application. Thanks for working with Oregon Tool, we're excited to help you.